Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more Frogger 2, Swampy's Revenge. We are moving on to Chapter 7. So let's do that. Chapter 7, Swampy's Revenge, Infernal Machine. That makes it sound like we're at the end of the game, but I know there's a really random area that we just haven't been to yet. Is this the end of the game? I'm confused. Whatever. Like, I was confused when we went to space before going to the other area that I know is in the game. Because I literally saw it in the demo before starting the LP. But, but whatever. Maybe that w maybe the level I saw was some level that's like only available outside of story mode or something. So, did this pink frog get up into space? Are we in space right now? We're in some sort of machine, obviously. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on here. But I think we might be at the end of the game. Oh, you do take fall damage in this game. Good to know. Would have been good to know it sooner. These little machines coming out of those doors, like, remind me of crash enemies. Like some of Cortex's robots. Okay, it's pretty much just memorizing patterns here, so more comparisons to Crash 1. This is like some of those Crash 1, like, temple levels with those weird platforms that go in and out like this, and you just really have to memorize their crazy patterns if you want to stand a chance at getting through. Well, not falling for that. Don't want to get zapped, so we'll just wait till it's safe. Be patient until you're doing time trials, in which case, good luck. Okay, so just wait until the electricity disappears and then go and you'll be fine. Some of those platforms fall out from under you, so it's a bit tricky. But we have more than enough lives now anyways. I didn't even realize we had four frogs already. Oh, 
I see what's going on here. These are just gonna turn on and off and we've gotta weave around them. Thankfully it looks like they're set up in a pretty easy pattern. I say as I get ambushed by that robot guy. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, unless I... In the safe zone from the electricity that I was at, there was no way I could dodge it. And I just fell into the same trap there. Okay, now. Maybe I should just wait here for... Apparently that doesn't work. Yeah, but it looks like when you're closer to the circle, uh, you're close enough where you can pick up coins that are on the spot next to you. There we go. Made it. Alright, what's next? Space suckers? Okay. That sounds... interesting. Well, there's clearly an arrow telling me to go that way. But which way do I really want to go? I want to get everything. See, I'm glad I went this way first, because I got those extra coins. And I think I might end up going through all these tubes at some point, or at least go through a lot of tubes. I think tubes are this level's gimmick. Yeah, because see, I'll get this frog, and then the tube that was previously blocked up here will open. It's open now. It was closed before, if you didn't see it. And it was closed even if you did see it. So I guess we're going this way now, and we're just going to keep going in and out of the tubes. Not to be confused with the TVs. Huh, there seems to be a few different buttons here. What does the gear button do? It makes those move. I'm kind of afraid to step on this electricity one. I have no clue what that did. Maybe it shut off an electric gate that I need to get through? Yeah, up there. Not where I fell, but yeah, I think it shut off an electric gate I needed to get through. And thankfully it looks like these switches don't reset themselves if you step on them again. Guess I should have double jumped there. I guess I stood on that for too long. I didn't think I was going that slow, but whatever. Oh! Okay, so that's not a safe spot to be. Alright, frog two down, and we got warped back. So I guess we would have been going over this way anyways.
It is really cruel putting those coins, like, at the very end of those conveyor belts. That is nasty. Also, yeah, really don't miss any coins while you're in there, because it looks like they block off some of the... Well, no, they don't block off the previous paths. They blocked off a path we came in from, but these other ways you can still go, apparently. What's this gonna do? I see the frog over there. Oh, it, it moves the frog forward, apparently. And that other button looks like it moves it back. So we want to keep moving it forward. Until it's right here where we can get it nice and easy. This level really isn't too hard. What are all these power-ups? Quick hop, auto hop, and an extra life. The last one was the one most worth it. Just going up a big spiral here. Apparently, that path was no longer three wide. There were like a bunch of holes right next to each other to create one big hole and I didn't notice. What is with these flying brains? Such a weird enemy. Oh, really? Yeah, we can get through this pretty fast if we know what we're doing. But sometimes it's better to be slow and just be safe. Alright, it's one thick here, so... Really gotta be careful about that. Okay, good, I see the final coin up there along with the frog. And we did it! Okay. Um, I'm not quite sure what's coming up next, but this is around the time we would normally end it, so that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you next time when we continue through whatever's coming up next, okay? So I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.